welcome to Mason Eyes Math Lab. Thanks for tuning in. Please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all you guys' support. Um, you guys are great. Keep tuning in. Today I want to talk about the fundamental insurance equation. Anytime you hear fundamental, it got to be important. This is no different. Um, I want to just discuss this concept. This is kind of the, well, probably should have made this video first because this is going to tie into how we price insurance. So let's get started. Um, this should not be a surprise to you. If you've taken any kind of economics class or just kind of like lived life a little bit, you probably are aware of this concept. And that is, how do you define profit? So what is profit? Well, as you know, profit is just revenue minus cost, right? It's just revenue minus cost. So far so good. So far I've learned nothing. Excellent. So what about the profit per unit? Well, if you think about it, revenue is just going to be the price that you sell it at Just say price sold at, right? Whatever you're producing, right? You sell it for a price, and then you multiply that times the quantity. And then the cost, the cost is whatever you pay for, say you're selling something, whatever you pay for the material. So let's just say cost per unit times the unit sold or quantity, right? Quantity. So then what would be the profit per unit? Well, if I divide out all the quantities, right? This is like the total profit. Divide out all the, pro uh, all the quantities and what I'm gonna get is kind of the profit per unit. The profit is equal to the price, right? Here's the price that you're selling at minus the cost. So nothing new under the sun, I don't think. I mean, this is essentially profit equals revenue minus cost. What I wanna do though, um, as you probably know, what makes insurance so difficult to price is that you don't know the cost. So that's where we do the actuarial stuff. We got to say, statistically, what do we think the costs are going to be? So let's break this down a little bit further. First thing I want to do is I want to rearrange this equation. So this tells me price, the price is equal to the cost plus the profit. So what you do actually um, as an insurance company is you actually set what the profit is, you estimate your cost, and then that will determine what the price is. So let's do a little more uh, breakdown. Well, actually I've done any breakdown yet, so let's do some breakdown. So in insurance, we call the price, we refer to that as the insurance premium, right? This is the premium. The cost is the thing we got to break down a lot. So what are the cost? The cost of doing business are going to be the losses. And I will go down into detail with all of these things more and more as we uh, proceed throughout the videos. By the way, I'm trying to say stop saying um so much. Everyone should be good at public speaking, learn to be good at it, try not to use filler words. This is a discussion I'm having with myself right now. I'm telling myself, try not to use filler words. Losses are part of the cost. What else are part of the cost? Something called the loss adjustment expense. So loss, or sorry, expenses that are going to be kind of associated with those losses, and these will be further break, broken down as well. Uh, what else is gonna be something else called the underwriting expense. And we will break that down further as well. Uh, profit, we're gonna call underwriting profit. And this is something that we're actually going to decide. And what you do in practice is you essentially determine an adequate or a reasonable profit, usually represented as a percent of premium. So a percentage, like 5% is pretty standard. Okay, so let's go into this more detail. So let me rewrite what the insurance equation is now. So 
So given all this, let's rewrite this. So what we have is the following. From what I just said, we have that the premium is equal to the losses plus the loss adjustment expense plus the underwriting expense plus the underwriting profit. And let me break these down a little bit further because I'm really trying to build a strong foundation. As you know, as you might know, I am a fond advocate of building strong foundations. You have to understand the beginning stuff to understand the later stuff well. So losses generally, I think, these will usually be reported losses. Okay, so let's just call this one, two, three, and four. Son of a gun. So what's up with the losses? These are usually reported losses. And depending on the context, these may also may be called incurred losses. But for the time being, I'll call them reported losses. What are reported losses? These are going to be the losses that you pay, so the paid losses, plus the case reserves. What are those? Well, these are the money that the insurance company pays out as an indemnity, right? That's our promise to pay out our policyholders when a loss occurs that is subject to the policy we've written them, right? The case reserves, these are going to be money that we set aside. These can change. They can go up or down. Um, the claims adjuster may adjust them up or down, depending on whether we think we're going to be paying more or less future losses tied to that specific claim that was made. Uh, item two, LAE, loss adjustment expense. These are going to be the allocated uh, loss adjustment expense plus the unallocated loss adjustment expense. Allocated loss adjustment expense, these are, these are um, expenses tied to a specific claim, such as maybe we have a some sort of like bodily injury claim, okay, bodily injury is a third party uh, indemnity claim such that maybe I get in an accident and the person I hit gets hurt and they go, they have a bunch of medical bills and maybe it goes to court, okay, the legal fees, that would be part of the ALE, the allocated loss adjustment expense. ULE, um, these are, these are expenses tied to the claims however they're not tied to a specific claim so these would be something like um these would be like the salaries of um personnel personnel from the claims department so they're not tied to a specific claim however they're tied to kind of all the claims uh number three Underwriting expenses. So underwriting expenses, we have several things. First thing we have is we have commissions and brokerage. So commissions and brokerage, this is essentially uh, when we have insurance agents uh, or brokers that generate business for our company we pay them and usually um, this will be tied to the amount of volume that they actually generate, the amount of business volume they generate, or it may be, um, it may be associated with the quality of business, right? We don't want to just, we don't want to just issue a bunch of policies to people if they're going to get into a bunch of accidents or cause a bunch of claims, right? We want to write good business, profitable business. Uh, B, <sighs> what is the next one? So we have commissions and brokerage. Um, we have um, uh, la 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 la. Okay. Other acquisition. 
acquisition. This is going to be, okay, so these bro commission and brokerage, this is like money we're gonna to pay to our agents for generating business. This is gonna be things like advertising. Uh, C, we have, son of a gun. This is gonna be general, right? This is general. General are going to be expenses associated with like the day-to-day -day business. So this is gonna be salaries for actuaries for instance. And then finally we have taxes, licenses, and fees. And those are gonna be payments that are gonna to have to be made at inception of a policy, right? So insurance companies need to have uh, licenses to do business, they have to pay a bunch of fees, they have a bunch of taxes. It's not going to include uh, federal taxes though. Um, and then finally we have underwriting profit. So number four, underwriting profit. Uh, as I mentioned, this is usually going to be uh, set as a percent of premium. So we establish based off of some kind of model, like an internal rate of return model, or some sort of like uh, net present value of cash flows, right? So established as a percent of premium. Okay, and by the way, there are two ways an insurance company makes money. Underwriting profit, so in other words, the money, the premium that they, they receive minus the cost they pay out, okay, that profit associated with doing business, that's gonna be one way they generate money. Another way is gonna be investing. Now, I'm gonna go into all of these things in much more detail later on, but I wanted to give an introduction to this because this equation here, we're gonna to have to come back to, this is the fundamental insurance equation, uh, but essentially, we're going to use this equation we're gonna do some algebra manipulation and we're gonna get two ways to price insurance. We're gonna get something called the pure premium method. Pure premium is losses over exposures. Exposure is a weird concept. And then we're gonna get another method called the loss ratio method. So future videos will go over that, but I just wanna introduce this now. Um, this is a great place to start. As I mentioned, this is foundational, it's fundamental. Thanks for tuning in, um, subscribe to the channel, like the video, you guys are great.